is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been assigned to the traffic unit now for just over four years. I'm one of the uh, DUI task force cars and a traffic homicide investigator with the unit as well. And basically what we're doing is hitting the hot spots where we have noticed a spike in violent crimes. Stone Wolverine, where's Stone Wolverine? Uh, right now, they're trying to stop a vehicle who is running uh, stop signs. Um, we lit him up, and now he's taken off. Looks like three passengers, three black males, dread. His tires look like they went out. His tires went out. He made a turn, and what happened right. is he blew the tire. Right front tire is out. Right front tire is out. Right now, he's still actively fleeing from us. Um, he's riding on the rim. They're three, four deep in the car, which means there's multiple occupants. We're heading into opposite jurisdiction now. All right, we're coming up to heavy traffic now. He's going to have to slow down. He's crossing multiple lanes. He's on three, uh, three tires. Um, his right front is completely gone. He's on a rim. Uh, he's getting a ticket for ruining the road. And Tango 33, looks like he's about to lose the uh, right rear as well. His speeds are slowing considerably. We're down to about 70 miles an hour. Uh, he's trying to go faster, but he just can't. Looks like that back tire is going to be coming off. It's sparking even worse now. Uh, speeds are still at, holding pretty steady now, about 70 miles an hour. We are um, still southbound. We are already through our second jurisdiction, coming up to uh, Boca Raton. We'll be coming up to the Broward line very shortly. Boxed in. Bail out, guys. Bail out, guys. Bail out, guys. Bail out on train tracks. What are you reaching for? He was reaching his waist, bail guys. Reaching for the way. Look at his arm, boss. He's reaching. He's dumping something as he's running. Get his arm up here. His arm is on his arm. Get him over here across the street. Yeah, we got him. Get him over here. Get him over here. What are you reaching for, man? This is the driver. What are you reaching for? Get a flashlight. What? what are you reaching Don't. for? Mark. Reaching for what? Right here for you to drop us something. It was a bag of water on him, man. Just a bag of weed? Where's the gun at? We got no guns, a bag of weed. Where's it at? Oh, no. Huh? Just one bag of weed. You gonna run like this for one bag of weed? No, because I ain't got no license. That's why I did it. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to run for nothing. You did? No, you blew a tire. You're running in th two or three cities. I was That's scared, not running? Man. All the lights and sirens and marked police cars mean nothing then, right? That's, no, I'm just scared. That's but you're an innocent guy, is that it? You got a bag of weed, no driver's license, cop trying to stop you for a lawful reason. Yeah, I was just scared. Morning. You know, I panicked. I, I panic. That's all. Walk up here and have a seat on the sidewalk for me. How many in the car? Three. There was three of you. Yeah, here it is. Right here in the sand. Right where he was standing. Yeah. Tangle 33. If you could uh, add to the CAD notes, um, we recovered. 
Just a single baggie of uh, 57 marijuana right now. We're still searching. We were watching an area because they were doing drug transactions out of there. We saw this car leave and attempted to stop it. It blew a tire out as it was uh, trying to get on I-95. There's uh, drugs in the front seat of the car. What's your nickname? Smooth. Smooth? So how did you get hooked up with these characters? Because I was at a friend's house mm -hmm. in and I saw him walking. They said it was coming this way. I was trying to get a ride back down to Derry. Right. And you guys jump behind us. I'm telling him to stop, 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 stop. Okay. Well, smooth. Realizing that, he still can't. He should have just stopped and given up. And that's why you're in cuss. Okay? But you ran, and that's why you got you got dirt all over your face, all right? And I'm not saying you were involved in it, but, you know, we get caught up in things in life. And Yeah, they told me they was going to drop me off. We was getting down the street, going to jump on 95, and that's when you guys pulled behind me. Dropping me off, man. Okay. Well, a guy over there you call CJ says that uh, it was the other way around. So what does he say? Well, he said you and uh, the other guy were into something and and that he was just getting a ride home. No way, sir. No? no way. It's definitely not that way. All right. All right, smooth. Just relax. Just watch your head getting in, man. Okay, now sit all the way up the front. Put yourself right up front. There you go. So you don't slide around. You know why you're going to jail, right? For aggravated felony fleeing and eluding, and for your drug charges. We'll work on the traffic tickets when we get there. I actually grew up in Potter County, just outside of Amarillo, and I used to see the uh, sheriff's department out there. I thought, well, I'm going to do that when I become of age. And once I turned 21, I applied and got hired on. The opportunity come along to move to the police department here, and. So I came on board, and hey, I really enjoy it here. Tax 65, would you send us that call on 7th? Went to a family fight. Uh, this address, we've had a lot of problems over there. We've had some weapons calls and some, it usually gets pretty out of hand. So we're gonna go back up this other officer and figure out what's going on. It's a complex of several small apartment type houses. Well, they're in Come here, man. What's going on? What up? What's what going happened? on? Um, we got to an argument. Who did? What's going on? I've been walking out there, Joe. Attacked my husband. He's been living with us. He's been attacking with a stick. Her, right? So these two are fighting? My brother-in-law. Brother. Look at his face. He attacked with a stick and just started jumping on him. Not My brother-in-law attacked him with a stick. No, I didn't. He, I was sitting in the room while y'all fought. Sir, that's all I'm trying to say. And he started screaming, get out of the house. And I... Was, Devin. Uh, there, there's nothing in okay, there. Okay, so what's going on? There ain't nothing in there. You're welcome to go through anything. Nothing. We got to an argument. Okay. I'm, I'm tired of working my ass off. Why are you bleeding? He beat me with the stick. He beat because, you with a stick. And I just took him into a corner. I didn't I hit him. Protect myself. I back there not that bother protect nobody. Protect yourself. He come out of the room, buddy. I can show you where he hit me. Okay. I mean, I got the knot here. Sure, he Do you need an ambulance? And he's drunk. I don't drink. I'm not I'm drunk. drunk. Do you need an ambulance? No. No, I don't. You got some ID on you? No, I don't. My yeah, ID's gone, but I can tell you my name. Where do you live? I live in the back room. Would you, you like me to show you? You live yeah. here with him? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm his older brother. His older brother. How long have you been living there? Uh, since the first thing of October. Okay. And so you decided to intervene and help no, him No, sir. I didn't try to intervene nothing. He just come running in there screaming for all of us to get out of the house. And I got up and he started to jump on me. And all I had, he pushed me back and I landed on the wall. Okay. And uh, when I landed on the wall, I just reached down and grabbed the first thing I could because he was raving crazy. What was that? Raving crazy mad, man. He just goes raving crazy and starts wanting. Look at the house how he tore it up, man. Yeah, I can see that. I didn't do nothing. What did you What did you pick up? You said you picked something up. I just grabbed the first thing that was laying well, down there the next to my thing? shield. It's a stick about this long, the tire buddy. Because so he, you whacked him with a stick? I had to. Okay. God, he scared me to death like he's going to kill me. 
I'm Wait, 55. Ellie, he knows I'm in bad health. He shouldn't be jumping on me. Sir, like you that. know me and you know I'm telling the truth. Hey, you hurt my back real bad, man, when you pushed me. No, down. I didn't push you nowhere, brother. Yeah, you, you hit did. me with the club. Tried to choke me around my throat, man. No, no. That's why I protected myself, no. man. I think in America you still have the right to protect yourself, man. Mm -hmm. Start back here in Joe's room. No, right back here but us. Okay. That's and this is you. Joe's room. This is where yes, he sir. stays. Okay. Yes, and apparently I was in there in the bathroom, and all of a sudden all hell broke loose, and I walk out, and these two are on top of each other, and I said, okay, forget it. I went to the neighbor's house right over here mm -hmm. and called call the Call the police. Yes, okay. Sir. But did you actually see Joe attack your husband with when the I stick? When I went out the door, my husband, my brother-in-law hit, hit my husband. Yes, did you, he did. did you I swear to God, yes. Did you see it? Yes, I did. Okay. I have it's a tire thumper, and it's out there. It's out there. Okay. Yeah. I found either in here. Yeah, it's out. Where's my husband at? They've both been arrested. My husband's going to jail. My brother-in-law attacked him. Please. Can't be beating each other with sticks. But my brother-in-law attacked my husband first. It doesn't matter. That's what Everybody I'm telling you. Everybody here is drunk. I'm not drunk. Everybody here is fighting. As soon as Those the, two are bleeding and fighting, and they're going to jail, and that'll solve the problem for tonight. That's right. You're, I mean, you it's not going to solve the problem next week when both of them are back in here fighting again, but it'll solve it for everybody here involved tonight, and that's what we're going to do. Okay? Tell me, tell me again. What were, I mean, what was the fight over? Uh, mainly me asking them to get a job. Asking both of them to get a job? Mm. Tammy went and hunted the job today. Okay. I mean, she did go down on I-40 to Cheddar's and yeah. tried to get a job and showed me proof. And but, all Billy, but Billy didn't? No. No, okay. she got back. Dishes were dirty. She called me. There's a record on that phone you got from me. And um, he don't go to bed till 5.36 in the morning. He plays this game called Atomic Dove. Atomic Dove? On his phone. On his phone? Yeah. Okay. And that's all he lives for is this game. Is the phone game? Yeah. Okay. And, and he wanted to tell you, I got witnesses. I mean, you got witnesses of the game? I don't know. He brags to my boss. Okay. I mean, were you fighting about the? There? Were you fighting about the game? No, no. Oh, okay. No. It's just when you can't get up and get a job. I want him to move out of my house. Okay. Well, I explained that to you earlier. The eviction process. You need okay. to call the county and and get it started. Okay. I will. But for tonight, you're both going to jail for mutual okay. combat. Billy, yes. what's going on? Well, actually, sir, no, nothing really was going on. I was sitting in the back room playing my phone game, Atomic Dove. If you look on my web, you'll see I played right up till it happened. Okay. Yeah, and, he told me about the Atomic Dove game. And, uh, you know, I do that to stay out of their hair when we're out of work. Right. right. And he kind of jealous of that, you know. That he's he, jealous of your phone? Oh, yeah, he's jealous of me playing the web. I'm one of the top top nations in the country. Actually, in the world, it's a worldwide game. <laughs> so listen to me, Billy. Yes, sir. Let me explain something to you. When he pushes you back and he's done pushing you, you can't pick something up and go back and wail on him for a while. Probably the best thing you could have done was to get away from him and go call us to handle it. That's why y'all are both going to jail tonight for mutual combat. Yeah, I think I'd break down the job percentage-wise. You know, 5% that's action-packed, emergency-type calls, homicides and shootings, 15% high incidence, occurrence, domestic violence, fights, that type of stuff. And the rest of it's what you consider routine uh, police work, problem-solving, trying to make the community a better place to live for the, the people that are here. For you and 935, on the group involving the manager of the Responding to a disturbance call where an apartment manager is uh, being assaulted. Uh, this is second-hand information coming from a tow truck driver that's out there. So we're responding to see exactly if there's a fight or not. Sometimes you end up with a fight, and sometimes it's just a bunch of yelling and screaming. The tow driver who's on scene there telling us dispatch to group about 10 people involved that it's physical, but no weapons have been seen. They're 914 arriving. They're 914 copy. They show to be arriving at detox. Let me get ETA for you. of the vehicle uh -huh. they're walking away right now but they were all brawling with the manager and other people out here in the parking lot were pulling each other's hair and starting a big fight so i thought it'd be appropriate to call you guys okay 
<laughs> Supposedly, he's involved. That's the guy, one of the guys down there. Those the two, two walking guy away. Woman down there walking. I'm going to grab them. They're involved. Who got assaulted? I called you guys. Okay, who's assaulted? Who's me. Assaulted? Okay. She just hit me in my mouth. Okay. Because their car got towed. Who's, who hit you? Who was it? She don't even so, live here. I know. Come here. Where's she at? Come on. Let me catch my breath. Okay. Okay. I was in my house sleeping with my kids. Okay. I was laying down with my kids and my nephew. Okay. I heard boom, 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 boom. Okay. Open the door, bitch. Okay, let's get up here. I'm side. like, what? Open my door. Bitch, you got our car towed? First of all, I didn't get the car towed. Okay. I do the towing, but they come whenever they feel like coming. Okay. Bring your ass outside. You're going to get your ass with I got to tell Josh. Can you stay here for a second so we can get a statement from me? The other guy that lives down to 15, you need uh -huh. to get her away from my apartment so I'm calling the police. Okay. I smell like liquor. I can show you, tell you. I had Fair her. enough. Fair enough. I'm 24. <laughs> I tell him, you need to get her off of my, my um, steps. Hey, Leslie. Right now. I've got the victim here. Albert's got the the, the suspect down there, or suspects. She, this is not, she didn't even live here. Okay, okay. Okay, so I come downstairs to talk to them. She's still in my face. Talking crap, you bitch, da, 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 you got to, that's my brother. I'm like, okay, I can tell you're intoxicated. You know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. She starts screaming, she's gonna hit me. I said, if you hit me, I'm gonna defend myself, but do not touch me. I didn't call the tow truck people, okay? They come when they feel like it. Get out of my face. Okay. You deal with the tow truck people, okay? okay. They said apartment seven. They're gonna say apartment seven because I'm the on-site manager. They wanna say my apartment, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're gonna do that regardless. She didn't want to hear it. She comes up to me. I said, do not hit me. Okay. She hit me in my lip right here. Okay. And my lip. Yep, see the blood. Exactly. Yep. She hit me in my lip and I hit her back. You and defended she wore yourself? My okay. Hair. Okay. She yanked all my hair right here. Can you guys like go back there while I'm she doing this? She's just my you. witness that okay. saw her okay. hit me first. Okay, that's fine. She hit me in my lip. She starts pulling my hair. We started fighting. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta part her boyfriend, wherever he is to her, pulled her away. I let her go. My friends is pulling me away. She runs up again and wants to fight again some more. Okay. She pulls my hair like this. I'm going like this to let my hair go. I pull her hair. He comes again to pull her hair away. And I said, call the police right now to my nephew. Just hang out right here for me, okay? You might stand by my police car real quick. Thanks. Okay. What did you see and what was going on tonight? Um, I saw the girl with the curly hair run up to her door, mm -hmm. bang on her door, told her to come outside. Okay. She got to fussing with her about the car being towed. Okay. And um, she ran up on her and swung her, okay. hit her in her face. Oh, so and then did they she, started tussling. Yeah, they, so she goes against her. She yes. takes the first swing, connects. They start tussling and the hair yeah. grabbing and all that stuff goes yes. on. Okay. I need you to hang out while my the primary officer uh, is going to be dealing with this. We'll take care of that. And then we'll get your statement from you. And then we'll clear everything else up too, okay? All right. Thank you. Hi. I'm Sergeant Helfer. She's trying to figure out what's going on. Well, I came here with my stuff so we parked in the visitor section, went to go get my little brother to take him home. Mm -hmm. Well, we came back out and the tow check was hooked to the Jeep. And okay. we're wondering why it's not 10 o'clock yet. We parked straight in, no problems, okay? They didn't have a reason why, they kept towing him. Well, somebody said something about number seven. Number seven came out, started talking <laughs> She started circling me, whatever. Came, obviously hit me in the forehead because I feel a bruise. Hit me in the forehead, I don't know what happened from then. I tried to. If I myself, get my phone, I don't know. Okay, I I'm not sure it happened okay, so fast, uh, okay? What you're telling me and what I'm hearing is kind of a different story. What I'm hearing is different to what you're kind of saying. It's kind of similar, but it's a little bit different. Right. Now, you kind of instigated what was going on. Here. I didn't, sir. Well, what it looks like is your car, got, your car got it's hooked. It's not my car, it's his, his car. car but, right. And then you took it out on the manager because the, the tow company is just doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're hooking the cars okay. and it wasn't well, her deal. It has it's the tow company and him, right. whatever. But I just want my phone, I don't know. She, something happened. It happened real fast. She hit me. I tried to defend myself. She says Next you hit her me. first. You're saying she hit you first. I never hit her. Show me a mark on her lip. She sir. got cut lip. I never hit her, sir. Do you see anything on my hand that shows I hit her? Please look. Well, your sharp a, rings would probably do that. No, sir. If she had a look, cut, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to debate it with I you. Understand. I'm just telling I'm you. She's. She's got. Either. She's got. She's the one that's got the cut lip. Well, and you're the one that. walking away from the deal. I was walking away because my little brother is six years old, and I'm not trying to get him in trouble. Fair enough. You know? Fair enough. I never hear her, sir. Fair enough. And it's your Jeep? No, no it's, it's cousin's Jeep. Jeep. Yeah. Oh, cousin's down there. Okay, and who are you in this? That's, um, that's, that's my cousin here. right there. He was here babysitting. All right. Would you like me to arrest her right now? Yeah. You need to call before 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, okay? okay? And reference that case number, and... Um, They'll have all the information. Okay. They'll, they'll follow it for you. Okay. All right. You good with that? Yep. All right. Just hang in the parking lot real quick. Okay. And then. Thank you.
Miss? Stand up for me, please. You're under arrest for assault. The tow was a legal tow, okay? And it wasn't even your car. Yeah, you can take your jacket up. Just a second. Okay. Let's go back get off the property. You've been uh, trespassed from the property as well, okay? You don't have to come back here without uh, risking getting arrested for criminal trespass. Do you understand? I never touched her. We have witnesses that say you started this, so that's where we're at. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 transmit on tech.